The film begins with a high school student called Siyun. He was the smartest student in his classroom. He had reserved an introverted personality. Every day, he spent most of his time to study. He didn't have friends at school. His classmates hated him because he was too smart. Because he didn't have friends, nobody respected him at school despite of his great achievements. On the contrary, his classmate called Young Bin was very respected. When Siyun received an award as first place winner in a mathematics competition, nobody clapped their hands. But when Young Bin received an award as third place winner, the whole class clapped their hands. Young Bin was a troublemaker in his class, but he was quite smart. There were many students in their classroom who were bullied by him and his group. They also bullied and robbed some money from other students. <laughs> Young Bin tried to bully Siyun when Siyun was studying. Young Bin was jealous of Siyun because Siyun defeated him in the mathematics competition. Even though Siyun was an introverted student who didn't have friends, he was never afraid of Young Bin and his group. He didn't even care when Young Bin threatened him. The school baseball team came to their classroom. They were looking for a student called in Suho. Even though they tried to beat him up together with baseball bats, Suho managed to defeat them because he was an ex-fighter of MMA. <laughs> When Siyun came home, he gave his certificate of appreciation to his father. His father was proud of him, but Siyun wasn't proud of himself because he was lonely even when he was with his family. Siyun only lived with his father since their parents got divorced. He lacked of affection from his parents. His father was very busy with his works. Meanwhile, his mother was a teacher who was teaching at a distance. It was difficult for Siyun to see his mother. He could only watch his mother's videos every day. Because of his family problem, Siyun became a reserved and reclusive person. The next morning, as usual, Siyun came early to school. He saw Suho sleeping in their classroom. They had physical education class that day, but Siyun couldn't find his tracksuit. He believed Young Bin was the one who stole it. As a consequence, Siyun had to wear his uniform in physical education class. Siyun was the top student in all classes except physical education class. He wasn't really good in physical education class. <laughs> After physical education class was over, Siyun confronted Young Ben and his group. He asked Young Ben to leave him alone. Young Ben and his group felt humiliated by Siyun, so they choked and threatened him. <laughs> Suddenly, a teacher came and interrupted them. Young Ben and his group stopped what they did. They said that they were just joking around. <laughs> There was a transfer student called Bum Sook in Siyun's classroom. He moved from an elite high school. Bum Sook refused to admit that he came from wealthy family because he didn't want to be taken advantage of. Siyun came and told Young Bin to move from his desk. 
Young Bin was annoyed by him. Si Yun took a pen to protect himself in case no. Young Bin attacked him. Suddenly, Su Ho told Young Bin and his group to shut up. He was mad because his sleeping was disturbed by them. At night, as usual, Young Bin and his group hanged out in a club and ordered a drug. They did that every day. Young Bin met the drug dealer who was also his cousin. He asked him what would happen if the fentanyl he had ordered was applied to human skin. The drug dealer told him that it would cause confusion, dizziness, blurred vision, nausea, and vomiting. The next day, the class had an examination. As usual, Si Yun had prepared himself well. Young Bin came late to school. He asked Bum Suk to go with him because he said that their homeroom teacher wanted to meet him. Turned out, Bum Suk was brought to school canteen. Young Bin asked him to apply the fentanyl to Si Yun's neck while they were taking the examination later. Bum Suk agreed to do what Young Bin told him because he was afraid of him. When they were about to take the examination, Bum Suk tapped Si Yun's neck from behind. Bum Suk said that there was a fly on Si Yun's neck. At first, Si Yun was mad at him. But after the teacher called him, Si Yun focused back on his examination. While Si Yun was taking his examination, his vision suddenly started to become blurred. He also had difficulty to stay focused. He left the classroom to go to the bathroom. When Si Yun returned to his classroom, he realized that there was a fentanyl on his neck. He suddenly slapped his cheek. The whole class was surprised by him. They were paying attention to him. Si Yun kept slapping his cheek so he could stay focused. After the class had finished taking the examination, they began to check their answers. Si Yun realized that he had one incorrect answer. He got frustrated because of it. He got up from his chair brought a pen, and attack Young Bin relentlessly. He also stabbed Young Bin's friend with his pen. There was nobody in the classroom who dared to intervene Si Yun. Young Bin fell from his chair with a face that was covered in blood. When Si Yun tried to step on Young Bin's face, Su suddenly stopped him and pushed him away. He thought that it was too much. Si Yun was annoyed by him. He took a chair to fight him. Because of that incident, Young Bin had to be admitted to hospital for treatment. Si Yun was taken by his teacher to apologize to Young Bin's parents. But Young Bin's mother kept scolding him because she was furious at him. Si Yun told her that he was drugged with a fentanyl by Young Bin while they were taking an examination. At first, Young Bin denied that the fentanyl was his, but Si Yun proved what he said by rummaging in Young Bin's bag. A box of fentanyl was found in his bag. Young Bin's mother was shocked to see that. Finally, the school decided to transfer Young Bin to another school. They also agreed to keep this incident of drug use by their student as a secret to keep their good reputation. When Si Yun returned home, he didn't say anything about what happened at school that day. Si Yun's father suspected that Si Yun had gotten into a fight, but he didn't care about it. He thought it was a normal thing that happened among teenagers. The next day, two of Young Bin's friends approached Si Yun angrily. They asked him to meet them after school, but without a single fear, Si Yun asked them to meet him right at that time. They didn't need to wait until the school was over. With angry faces, Young Bin's friends followed Si Yun to a bathroom. Si Yun closed the bathroom's door so nobody could see them. 
They didn't realize that Si Yun had brought his favorite weapon, which was his pen. As Si Yun was walking toward them step by step, they were getting intimidated by him. They remembered the incident where Si Yun was getting out of control. They couldn't move their body when they remembered it. Apparently, Si Yun didn't want to attack them. He only told them to leave him alone. When Si Yun came out of the bathroom, all of his classmates praised him for defeating Young Ben and his group. Si Yun was annoyed by them because suddenly they were being friendly to him. All this time, they had ostracized him and pretended like he didn't exist. Young Bin was visited by his cousin. Suk Dae warned Young Bin to not overdo anything. Young Bin asked Suk Dae to beat up Si Yun. He would pay him if he was willing to do it. At night, when Si Yun was heading home, he saw Su working part-time. Apparently, apart from being a student, Su also worked part-time as a food delivery courier at a restaurant. After school, he would go to work so he could earn some money to survive. Since he lost his parents, he only lived with his grandmother. But after he finished working, he didn't come home. He chose to sleep at school instead because he would come late to school if he slept at home. After Si Yun found out about Su Hu's story, he didn't wake him up every morning anymore. He appreciated his effort so he let him sleep for more before everyone came. Si Yun and Su Hu became closer to each other since then. However, Si Yun still didn't get used to be open with other people. Young Bin met Suk Dae to talk about the job he offered him yesterday. Suk Dae was a member of a collection agency who lent money and collected debt, so he was down to do any high-paying job. After school, Bum Suk tried to apologize to Si Yun for what he had done. He offered himself to accompany Si Yun to go to another school for a tutoring, but Si Yun ignored him. Suddenly, Si Yun was stopped by Young Bin and Suk Dae's gang. They took Si Yun with them. After Bum Suk saw that, he reported it immediately to Su Hu. At first, Su Hu didn't care because it wasn't his business. He also had to go to work after this. But after Bum Suk said that he would pay him double of his salary, Su Hu changed his mind. He was looking for Si Yun immediately. In a quiet alley, Si Yun was being intimidated by Suk Dae and his gang. Since Si Yun was a person who had always analyzed and calculated his actions, he managed to fight them back. But when Si Yun dropped his guard, he was getting attacked again. Young Bin used this moment to take revenge on him by beating him up relentlessly. He also tried to break Si Yun's hand so he couldn't study. But suddenly, Su came to save Si Yun. He managed to defeat Young Bin and his friends with his skills, but their fight wasn't over. Suk Dae asked Su Hu to fight one by one. When Young Bin and his friends saw Si Yun alone, they wanted to beat him up again. The situation was getting worse. Young Bin wanted to attack Si Yun with a bottle. Su Hu couldn't stop him because Suk Dae kept attacking him. Luckily, Bum Suk suddenly came to save Si Yun. Suk Dae finally left and decided to let Si Yun and his friends go. Meanwhile, Young Bin just stood there and realized that he had lost again. Since that incident, Si Yun and the others became closer to each other. Su took Bum Suk and Si Yun to the restaurant where he was working. He told them to help him working because they made him late to go to work. They spent their night together by having dinner at that restaurant. But as usual, Sien still didn't get used to spend time with people. Did 
Suk Dae's boss who was called Gil Su was mad because of the incident. He didn't like if Suk Dae took another job. He punished Suk Dae by hitting his hand with a block of wood. After that, Suk Dae met Yun Ben to ask him to bring Si Yun to him. Si Yun encountered a member of Suk Dae's gang called Yang Yi who was stealing something at supermarket. Si Yun ignored her and pretended like he didn't see that. When he was about to leave after purchasing an umbrella, Yang Yi was being friendly to him. She asked, <laughs> She asked Si Yun to go to a restaurant with her. Si Yun couldn't do anything but to accept her offer. Young Yi confessed to Si Yun that she began to have a crush on him. She also asked for Si Yun's phone numbers. Gil Su was collecting payments of debts from a high school student who owed him some money. That student gave his mother's car as a loan guarantee because he was unable to pay off his debts. Even though he had given Gil Su a car as a loan guarantee, Gil Su still threatened him to kill him and his parents if he didn't pay off his debts in three days. The next day, when Young Bin packed his things in the classroom, he asked Si Yun to have a conversation with him. Turned out, Young Bin wanted Si Yun to be a court witness to testify that he didn't own any fentanyl because he didn't want to be put in a youth detention center. He told him that he was the only hope for his parents. Si Yun felt bad for him, so he agreed to do what he wanted. Si Yun were heading to the court with his friends, but Young Bin took them to a car park of a building instead. Si Yun and his friends suspected him because they didn't go to the court. Apparently, Young Bin had lied and tricked them to meet Gil Su and his gang. <laughs> Gil Su asked them to pay him $15,000 because he didn't have health insurance to cover for Suk Dae's broken hand. But Su didn't remember that he injured Suk Dae's hand severely. Gil Su was the one who broke Suk Dae's hand and then blamed Su Hu for it. He did it so he could get some money from him and his friends. Gil Su told them to pay him in three days. If they couldn't do it, they had to lend money from him to pay him. We could see how sly and manipulative Gil Su was. He even threatened to kill them if they refused to do what he told them. After that unwanted meeting, Si Yun and his friends were followed and watched by Gil Su and his gang every day. Siyun called Young Yi to ask for an explanation about the problem he was facing. He hoped that Young Yi could give him an important information. They finally agreed to meet at a restaurant. Young Yi told Siyun about who Gil Su was. Apparently, Gil Su was a type of a person who would do anything for money, including murder. Young Yi told Siyun to pay Gil Su if he didn't want to be in any danger. She also told him that Gil Su were friends with many gangsters so it would be hard to run away from him. Bum Suk was stealing his father's watch so he could sell it and have some money to pay Gil Su. Finally, three days had passed since Gil Su threatened Si Yun and his friends. They had a meeting in a room. Bum Suk managed to collect $15,000 from selling his father's watch, but he told them that he got the money from his father. Si Yun and Su Hu were mad at him because they didn't believe that Bum Suk's father was willing to give him that much money. What's that? Even though they had had the money, they refused to give that money to Gil Su for free. They decided to call the police instead. Si Yun told them about the important information he got from Young Yi last night. Apparently, Gil Su had an illegal gambling site for minors, especially for high school students. People would receive $50 for free for each account they registered on Gil Su's gambling site, which was being operated overseas. Young Yi said that the gambling site was a fraud. The players would win and receive many bonuses for several first games, but after they got addicted to it, the site owner would use their addiction to take their money and defeat them in every game. 
where there were gambling sites players. There were bounds to be Gil Su's gang. When those players ran out of money, Gil Su's gang would approach them to lend them money so they could keep playing on the gambling site. As the consequence, the players would owe them money and couldn't pay their debts off because they had lost all of their money on the gambling site. It was one of Gil Su's evil strategy to exploit children to get addicted to gambling, so they could lend money from him and gave him their valuables as long guarantees, such as cars, gold bars, etc. Young Yi also told CNN that Gil Su put his valuables such as transactions, drugs, etc. in a strong box. Because of that, CNN wanted to call police and bring them to that place. With all evidences inside of that strong box, Gil Su would get arrested by the policeman. After school, Gil Su and his gang had been waiting for CNN and his friends. Oh? Su said that he would meet Gil Su by himself. He planned to ask Gil Su to take him to his office to talk about Gil Su's gambling site. When he arrived there, he would tell Siyun about his location so Siyun could call and bring the policeman there. At first, Gil Su was surprised that Su knew about his gambling site. Su said that Suk Day's cousin, Young Bin, told him about it. Gil Su finally took Su Hu to his office with him because he had no option. Before they left, Young Yi told Gil Su that she would stay at school to wait for Bum Suk and Siyun. After that, Young Yi met Si Yun to give him the address of Gil Su's office. Si Yun didn't realize it sooner that Su Hu didn't have to go with Gil Su to get Gil Su's address. Bum Suk was worrying about Su Hu. He wanted to follow him with a taxi. Si Yun let him go because he wanted to see if Young Yi gave him the right address. Suk Day interrogated Young Yi for knowing Si Yun and revealing such an important information to him. Young Yi told him that she was sick of Gil Su. She planned to call the police on him. She said that she couldn't live under Gil Su's pressure forever. Su Hu arrived at Gil Su's office. He gave Gil Su's address to see Yun immediately. It was the same address as the one that was given by Young Yi. Su Hu walked inside of the office. Since Gil Su always kept his guard up, he asked Su Hu to give him his phone. He had been suspecting that Su Hu had planned something. Su Hu refused to give his phone. His head was hit very hard with an iron stick that he fell from his chair. <laughs> Gil Su finally found out about Su's plan to call the police on him. After he found out about it, he packed his things and left that place immediately. Bum Suk arrived there and encountered Gil Su who was trying to run away. Bum Suk didn't know what had happened so he tried to give Gil Su the money. Because the situation had become worse, Gil Su ignored the money and took Bum Suk with him to leave that place. Sian was heading to Gil Su's office. As he and the policeman arrived there, they didn't find anyone. The policemen put off their search because of that. They also realized that they didn't have an arrest warrant so they couldn't proceed with their search. Because the policeman didn't help him, Sian broke into the house by climbing the wall and breaking the door. He was surprised to see blood on the floor. He thought that it was Suhu's blood. He tried to call Suhu on phone, but Suhu didn't answer his call. Sian was shocked to find that the transactions, drugs, and Gil Su's other valuables in the strongbox had been taken by Gil Su. <laughs> Suk Day got a new problem. Gil Su found out that Suk Day and Yang Yi had conspired with Si against him. Gil Su threatened to sell Yang Yi's brother called Sung Chan if Suk Day and Yang Yi didn't come to Mangadong. Suk Day decided to meet Gil Su. He gave his bank card to Young Yi so she could find a hotel to hide. But Young Yi didn't want Suk Day to meet Gil Su alone. She wanted to go with him. She asked Si Yun to download an application that enabled him to share location. So, Si Yun could track Suk Day and Young Yi's location. <laughs> Gil Su and his gang had been waiting for Suk Day and Young Yi. Apparently, they had taken Bum Suk and Su Hu as their hostages. 
야, 근데 야, 넌 어쩌다가 여기 일부 저 사람 집에 갔는데 그렇게 됐잖아 아가리 좀 싸물어라 이발년들아 아이 아가리를 싸물라니 팔도 묶여서 지금 서러워 죽겠는데 씨. 어? CM was heading to Yang Yi's location. <웃음> 여기 망호동 쪽 친구 한 사람인데 뭐 계시죠? 너한테 뭐 선하게 한거 있냐? 그냥 때리세요. 그럼 참 아주 쉽새끼야. But because Suk Day's hand was still severely broken, he had difficulty in finding Gil Su. He was attacked relentlessly by Gil Su. 오빠 그만하세요. 딸려나. 너지. 야. 이 Young, he couldn't help Suk Day because she was seized by Gil Su's gang. Why? 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 그만 좀 해라 이 씨발 쓰레기 같은 새끼야 가만히 있어 이 개새끼들아 다 죽여버리지 그냥 다이 깨자 이 씨발 새끼야 Suk Day challenged Gil Su for a fight Despite he had a little difficulty he still fought Suk Day He was defeated by Gil Su who used a knife to attack him Suddenly, Young Yi helped Suk Day by hitting Gil Su's head. But as a woman who didn't have as much strength as Gil Su, she couldn't fight Gil Su when he choked her. Luckily, the sound of siren from police car was heard. Gil Su and his gang ran away quickly. Sian came and told Gil Su to surrender because the policemen had surrounded them. Gil Su and his gang came back after Sian helped Bum Suk and Su Hu to escape. This was beyond. Yeah, we're just full of the shit, boys. Slow, 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 slow. Go, go, go. Yeah, the old dude is coming. Yeah, the new guy is coming. Turned out, the siren sound only came from a phone. What? 개 씹새끼들 잡아. 잡아. turned out, Sian used the siren sound audio to trick Gil Su and his gang, so, they would think that the policeman wouldn't come. A policeman tried to arrest Gil Su and his gang with his gun. <laughs> Unfortunately, Gil Su managed to escape from them. Sian chased Gil Su by himself. <laughs> Sian was chasing Gil Su until he finally found him. They got into a fight. Despite Sian didn't have as much strength as Gil Su, his attempt to fight Gil Su managed to slow Gil Su down. Suddenly, Su came to save Sian. Su and Gil Su got into a fight. Despite Su, who was an MMA fighter, he had a little difficulty in fighting Gil Su by himself. Siyun and Su managed to defeat Gil Su. They finally caught the criminal who had been terrorizing many students. Suk Day surrendered himself to the police. He told Young Yi and Sung Chan to run away. Ah! 
아 배가 너무 고프다 진짜 보안이 다 와. 어, 살아 살아있네. 어 진술하러 서해 좀 같이 가시죠. This criminal case would be handled by a lawyer who happened to be the assistant of Bung Suk's father. That lawyer said that he wouldn't discuss about this case with Sian's parents, but he would tell Bung Suk's father about it. Since Bung Suk came from highly respected and wealthy family. 김길수라는 사람 말고 다른 사람들은 잘 못한 거 없어요. 선처해 주시면 감사하겠습니다. 네. 들어가세요. 야 도라이, 먼저 밥이나 한번 먹자. 비디오 왜 이렇게 밥을 좋아하냐? 회원님께서 받은 만큼 돌려주라고 하셨습니다. Anyone who had harmed him would receive serious punishment. The lawyer asked Bum Suk to beat up Gil Su as he pleased. He didn't care if they were in a police station. Bum Suk didn't want to beat up Gil Su. Gil Su mocked him by saying that he was the weakest among his friends. Gil Su told him that Su Hu and Si Yun didn't consider him as their friend. Si Yun came out of the police station and saw Yang Yi waiting him outside. Yang Yi wanted to apologize to him and Su Hu. They went to hospital to visit Su Hu. Si Yun told Su Hu that Bum Suk's father wanted to keep the case a secret. It seemed like Bum Suk's father wanted to handle the case as if they were the one who caught Gil Su and his gang. Si Yun didn't care about that. What important to him was that Gil Su and his gang had been arrested. Besides, when Si Yun came home, he felt lonely again. Nobody there asked where he had been. He decided to return to the hospital. He also brought Su Hu's favorite food with him. Su Hu was surprised because Si Yun cared about him despite of his cold personality. At Bum Suk's house, Bum Suk's father scolded Bum Suk because he got involved with the police. He didn't like it because it could damage his good reputation. Then, he punished Bum Suk by hitting him with a golf stick. Sian's <laughs> schoolmates admired Sian and his friends because they had caught Gil Su and his gang. Since that incident, Sian and his friends became closer to each other. They wanted to hang out together. Sian told Bum Suk that Yang Yi had became their friend and lived in Su Hu's house. Su Hu said he would ask Yang Yi to hang out with them. Bum Suk felt like he was ignored because of Yang Yi's presence. He felt like he was excluded from the group. He was mad when he found out that Su Hu didn't follow him back on Instagram. Su Hu even followed Yang Yi even though they had been knowing each other for just one night. Since Yang Yi joined their group, Su Hu talked to Yang Yi more than he talked to Bum Suk. 소야, 뭐 생일이야? 응. 오늘 다 다음 주 토요일. 좀안 모으세요? 응? 뭐 하실래? 나 아이스 아메리카노. 범 Suk felt like Young E pretended as he didn't exist because of that. Bum Suk didn't enjoy their time together. 야, 빨리 와 봐. 여기 앉아 봐. 그래. 이리 방이네. 나 시현이 어디 갔다 왔는지 다 아는데. 여보, 뭐해? 내 주석처럼 일주일 연락하지. Bum Suk became more unhappy, so he left their room to purchase some drinks to refresh himself. He stumbled upon some kids who had bullied him from his previous school. He hid from them because he wanted nothing to do with them. <laughs> When he returned to their room, he took his anger out on Young Yi because Young Yi answered the phone call from his bullies. Bum Suk didn't like Young Yi even more, especially after he felt like Su Hu chose to be sided with Young Yi instead of him. Come on, Aranika. His bullies came to their room. They were bothered by Si Yun's unfriendliness so they chose to leave and call Bum Suk for another time. Si Yun didn't know who they were because Bum Suk didn't tell him anything about them. The next day, 
Om Suk was sleeping in the classroom. He was disturbed by a noise from some students in his classroom. He told them to be quiet, but those students laughed at him. <laughs> Bum Sook felt humiliated by them, so he approached them angrily. He became more mad at them after they said that Bum Sook had become conceited since he joined Si Yun and Su Hu's group. Si Yun and Su Hu tried to calm him down. Su Hu was surprised when Bum Sook asked him to stop putting his hands around him. Since that incident, Om Suk's mental state became unstable. He was also terrorized by his bullies who kept calling him on phone. He skipped classes for days and didn't tell anyone about how he was doing. Si Yun and Su Hu decided to visit Bum Suk's house to check on him. They were astonished by Bum Suk's grand luxury house. The rumor that Bum Suk's parents were rich confirmed to be true. Bum Suk told them that he wasn't a biological son of their parents, apparently. Bum Suk was adopted when his father became a politician. Bum Suk told them why he disappeared and skipped classes for days since he encountered his bullies from his previous school. Those bullies kept calling him on phone and asking him to meet them. He got frustrated because of it. He even experienced flashbacks of his past traumatic incident when his bullies beat him every day. It was also one of the reasons why Bum Suk moved from his previous school. After Su Hu heard about Bum Suk's story, he told Bum Suk to call his bullies. He wanted to make them regret what they had done and apologize to Bum Suk. Su Hu and Si Yun went with Bum Suk to meet Bum Suk's bullies at a karaoke bar. With all of his courage, Bum Suk walked into their room and asked them to apologize to him. Bum Suk's bullies laughed at him after they heard what he said. They even refused to admit what they had done to him. They pretended like they had a good relationship with Bum Suk. But after Su Hu threatened them, they finally apologized and regretted what they had done half-heartedly. Suddenly, Bum Suk slapped one of them. They were provoked by that slap. <laughs> Bum Suk got out of control. He took a microphone and tried to hit them with it. When Su Hu saw him, he stopped him immediately because they came to that place to make them apologize to Bum Suk and not to take revenge on them. <laughs> Bum Suk's bullies were surprised to see Bum Suk got out of control. Si Yun told them to stop calling Bum Suk from now on. <laughs> Bum Suk and Su Hu got into a fight because Bum Suk didn't like that Su Hu stopped him from taking revenge on his bullies. Bum Suk also told Su Hu that he was mad at him because he felt like he was treated as a subordinate by Su Hu. He felt like Su Hu didn't consider him as a friend because Su Hu always bossed him around. Su Hu disagreed with what Bum Suk said because they had always acted like friends all this time. He also said that he had helped Bum Suk for so many times. Su Hu was angry when Bum Suk said that he would pay him for everything he had done for him. Si Yun intervened them both and let Bum Suk go. Bum Suk wasn't mad at Si Yun. He never got angry with him and always respected him. Finally, he decided to go home alone. Episode 6 Turned out, his bullies still kept calling him on phone and trying to find where he was. On his way home, Bum Suk encountered Yun Chan and Taehan's group. At the same time, his bullies found where he was. 
Luckily, Yun Chan and his group chose to rob those bullies instead of Bum Sook because they knew those bullies were students of an elite high school. Those bullies were afraid of Yun Chan's group who were intimidating them. They couldn't do anything except doing what they wanted by transferring their money to them. Bum Sook just stood there and watched them. Suddenly, he beat up one of his bullies, who was the leader of the group, and then ran away. Tae Han and Yun Chan were happy to see Bum Sook got out of control. Bum Sook took his anger on his bullies for the bullying they had done to him, the abuse from his father, and the exclusion from his friends. After that incident, Bum Sook joined Yun Chan's group. They drank together in a club. Bum Sook's new friends were fond of him when Bum Sook paid all of their bills. Bum Sook felt like he finally found friends who respected him. He was also followed by them on Instagram. He thought that he had found real friends. He decided to unfollow Suhu's Instagram account. The next day, Bum Sook came late to school because he got drunk last night. Si Yun tried to talk with him but Bum Sook ignored him. Bum Sook chose to talk with Yun Chan's group instead. Yun Chan's group thanked him for paying for their drinks and the hotels where they slept with some women, apparently. Bum Sook still got the money that he earned from selling his father's watch. Because Si Yun thought Bum Sook had changed, he confronted him about it. At first, Bum Sook said that nothing happened, but finally, Bum Sook told him that he was mad at Su Hu for treating him like a subordinate and not a friend. Bum Sook hanged out again with Young Chan and his group in a club. This time, they also hanged out with Young Bin and his schoolmates. Young Bin were glad to see Bum Sook. He introduced Bum Sook to his female friends and told them that he was a member of Parliament's son. After those girls heard that, they flirted with Bum Sook. Young Bin also introduced Bum Sook to a fighter at his school named Wu Young. Then, they talked about Su Hu. They were mad at Su Hu because he always acted like a boss and looked down on others. Young Bin wanted to take revenge on Su Hu. 자, 짠 한번 하자. 어서! 어서 보자! 아, 씨발, 나도 전화 갖고 싶다. 어, 시윤 씨! 수 picked 시윤 up from a tutoring. He taught 시윤 to work as a delivery courier. <sighs> then, Sian talked about Bum Sook. He thought that Bum Sook was being used by Yun Chan's group after they found out that Bum Sook came from wealthy family. He thought that they befriended Bum Sook just for his money. But Su Hu thought differently. He thought that Bum Sook was the one who used Yun Chan's group. As they became closer to each other, they would do anything that Bum Sook wanted them to do and make him a popular student. Day by day, Bum Sook became closer to Yun Chan's group. Bum Sook felt like he was really admired and respected by his new friends. Bum Sook even moved to another desk to sit closer to Yun Chan and Taehan. Si Yun was worrying about Bum Sook after he saw it. He believed that Bum Sook wasn't a troublemaker. He thought that Bum Sook only did that because he felt so lonely. Si Yun told Young Chan's group to stay away and stop taking money from Bum Sook, but Young Chan's group ignored him and said that Bum Sook was the one who wanted to do those things. At lunchtime, the students stood in line in order to get their lunches. Suddenly, Yun Chan's group came and jumped in line. Su Hu was annoyed by them. He warned Yun Chan and his friends to stand in line. Oh. 
줄 서. 엄 s u k just stood there and refused to do it. Su Hu was mad at him. He slammed Bom s u k to the ground, seeing t o h i m to stop. 엄숙 left that place with hard feelings. He asked Yun Chan to find a person whom he could pay to beat up Su Hu. Yun Chan recommended him to hire Wu Young, Young Ben's classmate. From some videos that had been uploaded on internet, they could see that Yun Chan was really good in fighting. It was also said that Wu Young would join UFC. Finally, Omsuk was taken to Wu Young. Omsuk would pay Wu Young a thousand dollars if he could beat up Su Hu. He wanted Wu Young to do it on Saturday when Su Hu would have birthday. Wu Young accepted his offer and then left that place. Tae Hun told a story that Wu Young was once beaten up by Su Hu in a competition in the past. Yun Chan believed that Wu Young would win this time. They planned to injure Su Hu so he would have difficulty in fighting Wu Young. They cut the brake cable of Su Hu's motorcycle while he was working. As they expected, Su Hu was unable to ride his motorcycle properly. That he finally had an accident. From that accident, Su Hu had to walk with a limp because his leg got injured. Su Hu believed that Bum Suk was the one who did this, but he didn't say anything to Si Yun. Today was Saturday, which also Su Hu's birthday. Si Yun and Young Yi prepared everything to surprise Su Hu. Bong Suk tried to call Su Hu on phone to ask him to meet him. But Su Hu didn't answer his call. Bom s u k sent some messages to Young Yi. He said that he wanted to meet Young Yi to give Su Hu a birthday gift. Bom s u k told Young Yi not to tell anyone about it because he wanted to surprise Su Hu. Young Yi didn't tell Si Yun and Su Hu that she went out to meet Bom s u k At first, Bom s u k was being nice to her, but suddenly he smiled because his plan worked out. <laughs> He planned to take Young Yi as a hostage so Su Hu would come to meet him. Ah, game is more casual. Running, ah, 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 He also said that he had taken Young Yi as his hostage. Si Yun realized that Young Yi was trapped by Bum Suk. Si Yun replied Bum Suk's messages by saying that he would come there. After that, he deleted the chat and told Su Hu that he would go outside. He didn't want Su Hu to know anything about it. Hey, Junho, what's up? I'm going to get five minutes. Really? Sorry, I'm going to get to the bathroom. 이 사진 보니까 바로 온다고 하네. 아, 씨발 개소리야. 시윤 came to Bum Suk's location alone with a wrench in his hand. 시윤아. Everybody was surprised to see Siyun instead of Su Hu. After Siyun found Young Yi, he asked her to run away with him quickly. <웃음> 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 Si Yun fought Yun Chan and his friends with the ranch he brought with him. Meanwhile, Yang Yi called the police. 
Young Bin was glad to see Si Yun because he wanted to take revenge on him, but he was still unable to defeat Si Yun. <laughs> Siyun took a crowbar and wanted to fight all of them with it. But suddenly Weyoung came and attacked Siyun. Siyun was unable to fight Weyoung back even though he had a crowbar. Young Bin wanted to use this moment to attack Siyun. Bum Suk tried to stop him and told him that Siyun had nothing to do with them. Bum Suk said he didn't hold grudges against Siyun. Young Bin didn't care about what he said because it wasn't only about Su Hu, but also about his personal grudges for Si Yun. Eventually, Si Yun, who had been lying weakly on the ground, was beaten up relentlessly by Young Bin. Young Bin's friends joined Young Bin to attack him. It was too painful for Bum Sook to watch it, so he left that place. Yo, Bum Sook. Wu Young asked Bum Sook to reschedule his meeting with Su Hu. He also asked him to transfer the money to him because he had defeated one person. Bum Sook didn't even ask him to beat up Si Yun. The sound of siren from police car was heard. All of them ran away immediately from that place, except Si Yun who was lying weakly on the ground. Su Hu just realized that he had slept. He found that his friends still hadn't returned to his birthday party. Si Yun was taken to an ambulance by the policeman who came to that place. Young Yi told the policeman about what had happened. Suddenly, Si Yun woke up from his sleep. He told the policeman that he was all alone and it was only an accident. He also told Young Yi not to tell Su Hu anything about this incident. Siyun called Bum Sook on phone to warn him to stop what he was doing. Siyun had to be hospitalized because of that incident. He remembered when his father and his mother got into an argument when he was a child. Apparently, his father didn't want Siyun in his life. Siyun was mad at him when he found out about it. He didn't like his father since then. He still didn't like him even though he lived with his father now. Siyun didn't tell his father about the truth of the incident last night. He just told him that he fell from a staircase. But his father knew that Siyun got into a fight with other students. He grew impatient with him and scolded him for behaving recklessly. Suddenly... He got quiet after Siyun told him about his feelings. At home, Bum Suk was mad at himself. Because of him, Siyun had to endure violent attacks from Young Bin's group. He stayed in his room and refused to go to school. Because of that, his father sent someone to watch over him. He planned to transfer Bum Sook to a school in Philippine. <laughs> Su still attended school like usual. He was clueless about what had happened, but he sensed that there was something wrong because Siyun disappeared and didn't attend school. He also didn't see Bum Sook at school anymore. Su Hu tried to call Si Yun on phone, but Si Yun didn't answer his call. Si Yun told Su Hu that he didn't attend school because he had a family problem. Su Hu asked Yang Yi why Yang Yi and Si Yun didn't return to his birthday party. Yang Yi didn't answer his question. She only apologized to him. Su Hu came to Si Yun's house, but there was nobody there. He was heading home while wondering about what was actually happening. Finally, Su Hu asked Jin Chan and Taehan about where Bum Sook was because he had no option. They told him that they didn't know where Bum Sook was because they were unable to contact him. Su Hu said that he wanted Bum Sook to give him some money to fix his motorcycle that had been damaged by Bum Sook. They were surprised that Su Hu knew that Bum Sook was the one who damaged it. So, they asked him how he found out about that. Yung Chan's group was talking about Si Yun who didn't attend school because of what they had done that night. Su Hu heard about their conversation. Finally, Su Hu beat them up and asked them to tell him about what happened to Si Yun that night. Because Young Chan couldn't take his beating anymore, he told Su Hu everything about what had happened that night.
Dr. Su Hu found out about it, he visited Yang Yi again to ask where Si Yin was being hospitalized. Yang Yi told him that Si Yin would return home tonight. Su Hu came to Si Yun's house. He was glad to see Si Yun. He didn't tell Si Yun that he knew about what happened to Si Yun. Si Yun hid his wounded hand from Su Hu. Su Hu came to Si Yun's house to tell him that they would have examinations in one day, so he hoped Si Yun could attend school. Bum Sook received another punishment from his father. His father was furious with what Bum Sook had done. He was ashamed with him. He asked Bum Sook not to tell the public that he was his father because Bum Sook had had enough. <laughs> Because Bum Sook had had enough, he decided to leave his house that night. His assistant tried to stop him, but Bum Sook ignored him. Bum Sook ran away from home with a taxi. His assistant took a picture of his taxi so he could track him. In the taxi, Bum Sook found that his friends had called him on phone for several times. He received some messages from Su Hu. Su Hu was punishing Young Bin. He also asked him where Bum Sook was. Young Bin told him that he didn't know. Suddenly, Su Hu received a phone call from Bum Sook. Bum Sook asked him to meet him in a gym. <coughs> Bum Sook also called Wu Young on phone to ask him to prepare himself because he would fight Su Hu Sin. <laughs> Su Hu came to meet Bum Sook in the gym. He saw Yan Chong, Tae Han, Bum Sook, and others there. Apparently, Su Hu came there to apologize to Bum Sook. He told Bum Sook that Bum Sook was supposed to take his anger out on him and not on other innocent people. Bum Sook rejected his apology. Su Hu was mad at him because of it. After that, Wu Young called Su Hu. He asked him to get into the boxing ring and have a fight with him. Su Hu was surprised to see Wu Young there. They had met before in a competition where Wu Young was defeated by Su Hu. Su Hu accepted Wu Young's challenge. He asked him to give him one minute to do warming up by beating up everyone there. <laughs> After Su Hu finished warming up, he began his fight with Wu Young. Wu Young recorded them in a video. He swore that he would take revenge on Su Hu by defeating him this time. In the beginning of the fight, Su Hu and Wu Young were even because they both had good fighting skill. But Wu Young knew that Su Hu had a wounded leg due to a motorcycle accident. So, he focused his attack on the left side of Su Hu's body. Su Hu had a little difficulty because of his wound. But he managed to push Wu Young down with his smack. Taehan cheated in the game by pulling Su Hu's leg. Su Hu lost his focus that he was kicked hard by Wu Young. Su Hu laid weakly on the ground because he had a kick in his head. Bum Sook used this moment to beat him up relentlessly. Yung Chan and Taehan, who had been sick of Su Hu this whole time, joined Bum Sook to beat up Su Hu relentlessly. The assistant and lawyer of Bum Sook's father came to pick Bum Sook up. He forced Bum Sook to go home with him. Suddenly, everyone was surprised and panicked when they found out that Su didn't breathe anymore. They escaped quickly from that situation except Yun Han and Taehan because they were stopped by Bum Sook's lawyer. Bum Sook's lawyer asked them to testify to this problem in front of the policeman. 
Bum Sook regretted what he had done, he cried because he thought that Suhu had died. Yeah. How deep are you? No tracks to follow. Yeah. How real yeah. am I? Yeah. Am I not? Oh. <laughs> Young Yi and Sian were looking for Suhu because they hadn't heard anything from him. Since Suhu found out about the incident that night, Young Yi and Sian suspected that Suhu took revenge on Yung Chan's group, but they didn't find Suhu anywhere. I'm lost again. Eventually, this problem would be handled by Bum Sook's lawyer. He wanted to keep this problem as a secret, so he told Yung Chang, Tae Hun, and Wee Young to tell about what had happened according to the narrative that he had created. The narrative would go like this. They were taking an exercise together. Suddenly, Su passed out when he took a break by himself. They had deleted the video that had been recorded by Wee Young. They had also taken CCTV so there would be no evidence of what had happened. Bom Suk's lawyer also pretended to be Suhu to tell Si Yun that Suhu was all right and was busy taking an exercise. Bum Sook received another punishment for what he had done. His father was speechless with rage when he found out about what Bum Sook had done. He threatened to kill Bum Sook after he finished his school in Philippines and returned home. But Bum Sook didn't care about what his father said. He was worrying about Suhu. The next day, the school had examinations. As usual, Siyun came early to school. It was his first day of attending school after the incident that night. He was worrying about Suhu because he hadn't heard anything from him. Suhu even didn't attend school that day. Siyun couldn't stay focused while he was taking his examination. As the consequence, he had many incorrect answers. But Siyun didn't worry about it this time. He was worrying about Suhu more than he was worrying about his examination. After he finished taking his examination, he got news from Young Yi. She told him that Suhu was being hospitalized. She cried when she said that Suhu's condition was critical because he was in coma. After Siyun found out about that, he left his school and went straight to hospital to visit Suhu. There was only Suhu's grandmother in Suhu's room. She was sad because Suhu hadn't woken up. Siyun began to cry when he saw his best friend laying weakly on bed. <laughs> <laughs> Bum Sook had been staying in his room. His lawyer came to tell him that Suhu didn't die but only fell into a coma, there was still a hope to save Suhu. Bum Sook's lawyer asked Bum Sook to keep the incident that night as a secret or they would kill Suhu. They needed to do that to keep Bum Siok's father's good reputation as a member of parliament. The next day, Siyun went to Ji Sung High School. It was Young Bin's new high school. He came to that school to find Young Bin. When Young Bin arrived in his classroom, <laughs> suddenly Siyun came and attacked him by hitting his head repeatedly on his desk. He also stabbed Young Bin's shoulder with a pen. Siyun asked Young Bin about what happened that night. He asked if Bum Sook was the one who did it. Young Bin said he didn't know since he wasn't there. It was because his fingers were broken after being injured by Suhu that night. Before Siyun looked for Bum Sook, 
Young Bin told him that he only knew a little about what happened that night after he watched a video that was sent by Wu Young. Si Yun found out about what actually happened from that video, even though Young Bin had nothing to do with it, Si Yun still beat him up. After that, Si Yun was looking for Wu Young. He tried to beat him up with an iron stick in his hand. Unfortunately, Wu Young had expected his movement since he was a fighter. They finally got into a fight. Wu Young looked down on Si Yun because Si Yun didn't have any fighting skill. Si Yun chose to keep fighting him. He remembered about what Su Hu taught him if he got into a fight. Unfortunately, what he had taught couldn't be learned quickly. Si Yun was attacked repeatedly by Wu Young. But with his intelligence, Si Yun managed to have the upper hand. He used Wu Young's shoelace to fight him back. Wu Young smacked a barbell instead and injured his hand. Si Yun used his moment to hit Wu Young's foot with a barbell. <laughs> <laughs> Wu Young tried to find an excuse about what happened that night, but Si Yun refused to forgive him. He broke Wu Young's foot with a barbell again. <laughs> Bum Suk and his father were heading to Bum Suk's school to say goodbye and inform them that Bum Suk would move to another school abroad, but suddenly, Young Yi came and stopped them. <laughs> she asked Bum Suk <laughs> to take accountability for what he did to Su Hu. <laughs> Instead of apologizing to her, Bum Suk told Young Yi that he did that because Young Yi came to his and his friend's life. He and his friends used to be happy and close to each other. But after Young Yi came to their life, Bum Suk felt excluded from his group. The teachers at Bum Suk's school had been waiting for Bum Suk and his father because they knew who Bum Suk's father was. After that, Bum Suk was taking an examination meanwhile his father was pretending to ask about the student who got severely injured. The teacher said that there was a student who got severely injured. They told him that student got injured because he passed out when he took an exercise at a gym. Bum Suk's father was glad to hear it because nobody knew that his son was the one who did it. While everyone was taking an examination, Si Yun came to school and took a fire extinguisher. He came to his classroom with a uniform that was covered with blood. His classmates and teacher were surprised to see his appearance. Suddenly, Si Yun attacked Taehan with the fire extinguisher. Bum Suk looked at him without a single fear. Yun <laughs> Chan tried to help Taehan. <laughs> si Yun continued to attack Taehan. After he took revenge on those two people, Si Yun approached Bum Suk. Bum Suk felt helpless and regretted about what he had done. Si Yun couldn't attack Bum Suk because he still considered him as a friend. Finally, they burst into tears. Si Yun left Bum Suk on the floor without throwing a single punch on him. All students at that school were terrified by Si Yun. Some teachers tried to stop him. He hated how the school chose to keep this problem as a secret. They didn't do anything to help his friend who was in coma. After that incident, Si Yun returned to the hospital to visit Su Hu who was still in coma. Finally, Bum Suk attended a school in Philippine. At first, Si Yun was going to be put in a youth detention center because of what he had done. But after Bum Suk's father saw the video that showed how Su Hu fell into coma, he decided not to say anything about it. Finally, Si Yun moved to that school. This was the situation at Unjang High School. It was a low-ranked high school because the students there were troublemakers. When he took a sit, one of his classmates approached him. It seemed like he was the leader of a gang in that classroom. Si Yun chose to ignore him. That student was mad at him. Oh, what did it touch? Jesus, God.